Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we've got another dope video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you guys how to play Tara in Brawl Ball. Now we did do a Brawl Ball top 5 list and Tara was the number one brawler and we showed you guys yesterday how to play Max so it's only fair today if we show you guys how to properly play Tara. So what we're going to be doing is showing you guys a couple replays of just some games I've played earlier. I was grinding my Tara a little bit. Uh, we got it to 730. Um, I'm not too sure how good I did in each game, so I'm just going to go into the games, um, talk to you guys about some points that I made, some jot notes that I made about Tara, for how to be as good of a Tara as you can be, how to properly play Tara, and then we're going to go into a couple matches with randoms and see if we can carry them with Tara. So with that being said, let's hop into the game and let's explain to you guys how to properly play Tara and become a pro Tara. Okay, so here we go into our first game, and it looks like I'm AFK. I literally picked, like, a random game. Um, do I start moving anytime soon? Okay, there we go. So we're facing Double Tank Max, which is a comp that I showed you guys yesterday. Again, a very, very strong comp. So I'm just going to run up over here. Obviously, that's not the goal, but I kind of ran up and just charged super and died. So we are facing Double Tank, which is really cool for Tara because you're able to hit more multiple pulls. Um, instead of just single pulls, you're able to get some really good damage. You're able to get some really good value when it comes to your supers and just your shots in general. So before you understand how to properly play Tara and how to play her like a pro, you have to understand the basic concept of Tara. So Tara is kind of just like a mid-range brawler who's pretty good at doing some things, but obviously her main thing is she has her just absolutely dominant super in which that is what separates you from being a good and a great Tara. So let's talk about the super. How do you get it? It takes 13 cards to charge your super. With Tara, you're usually chipping and hitting one or two at a time, and it actually takes quite a while at the start of a game to get 13 cards. Um, that's actually something that's pretty impressive to do. So getting 13 cards is a little bit difficult. Um, so that is why you never want to waste your super. So let's talk about the super. So super, obviously, you don't want to waste. You're going to want to hit multiple people if you can. That's also, like, dependent on things. So you guys can see the map we're playing on right now is Pinhole Punt. And Pinhole, map, Pinhole Punt is definitely one of the best maps for Tara because it's a little bit more open when it comes to the pulls. There's not many walls that can get in, in the way. And you guys see we're kind of just taking advantage of the tanks over here. So I'm pretty sure I have a pretty bad pull over here. Uh, actually, I broke some walls. That was my goal over there was to break some walls. I'm just going to pull this Frank to stun him. Even though I was dying, at least the Frank wouldn't have been able to get that save. So let's go into the next game and let's continue talking about what you want to do with Tara. So the number one goal when you have your Tara super is to try and stay as sneaky as possible. So obviously maps with a lot of grass is really good for Tara so you can stay hidden, especially if you have your super. Um, you want to focus on tanks instead of going for ranged targets. So if, you have, if you're facing like a Piper and a Frank, you obviously want to go for the Frank. Frank's going to charge your super way easier, give you some good value, and obviously, you know, just, it's it's pretty simple. You want to go for something that's going to be easier for you. So, what I would do, or what I do usually, is going into a game, I usually decide if I want to go for single pulls or big pulls. So, right here, I, I actually remember this. I think I messed up this pull and hit nobody. Um, I was going to go for the double, but that wall got in the way. So, again, good thing not to show. I spun because I kind of messed up there. But one thing you guys want to do is make sure that you guys know your game plan going in. So, you guys saw I played double tank max. So, what I wanted to do was pull as many people as I can together because they're close range targets. They're people that don't have that much range, so they're always going to be close to each other. But if you're facing somebody like a Piper or something like that, just hit your solo suck, something like that. You guys saw solo sucks are really good. They give you really good value. Don't waste them, obviously, because that's not going to be good. It's obviously very important that you have your solo pulls over here i'm going to be able to hit a double one but it doesn't really matter so i'm into the next game and let's keep talking about tara so next point is if you if you decide to solo pull which is totally acceptable definitely not a bad strategy make sure you guys don't waste it make sure you guys get proper value and a hundred percent make sure you do not miss your pull so again as i spoke about earlier in the video it's really hard to hit well it's not hard but it takes a while to hit 13 cards with tara definitely takes a lot of build up and your super is what makes it really easy to continue just cycling it so if you are going to solo pull someone don't do it when they have like 100 hp wait till they're full hp make sure you 100 percent hit it so you can get your nine cards off you get the super value as well so it's about 10 or 11 and then you're very close to your next super if you waste the super it's going to take another half minute or another minute to recharge your tara super and that's obviously something you don't want so make sure you avoid missing your pulls make sure you get proper value out of them so again i, I know I already said this but seriously try and never ever miss a pull again it's going to take 13 cards to get back that is not something you want to do at all 13 cards is a lot of cards make sure you guys aren't missing a pull if you have star power use healing shade healing shade is one of the best star powers in the game it's really annoying um 
very tough to actually it takes a while to kill and it kind of makes you focus on something else um as you guys saw over there tara super also works as a stun or kind of like a holder so yeah i stunned that carl over there if a frank super it you could super it, you can cancel the super with yours there's a lot of things that you can do if you're facing a max remember tara is the number one max counter so make sure you're focusing on the max make sure you super the max especially when he's speedy and then you can use your super to break walls as well which is something that's very important with tara you guys saw me do that a little bit earlier but just continue breaking walls, playing good defense, and also using your Tara for offense. It's good for really good explosive plays, defense, and offense. Not great for mid control. So if you are playing with a team, try and pick some brawlers that are decent at mid control, such as like Nita, Spike, or just anyone that's good at holding control while you can go for your big play. So that being said, let's hop into some live games. Now we're going to be playing with randoms, but let's see if we can fully carry them with Tara. So let's hop into the games and let's see what we can do. Okay, so here we go into the next game. We're going to be going out, or the first game, we're going to be going up against Mortis, Frank, and Crow. So obviously, stay away from the Crow. Go for the Frank and the Mortis. I'm just going to stay back and start to chip here. Good thing that this Mortis came up over here because that actually got us our super. Our Frank's going to be able to get that stun. That's going to lead to a goal. But I am able to acquire my super here. So there's definitely no carrying done by me. Everyone's putting in their work. one nothing us, 20 seconds into the game. So I'm going to start off on the left over here. Maybe this Frank is a fan. I'm not sure. Going to go for a double pull. Going to be able to hit it. Frank with a really good play over there. I'm just going to super the area or the net over here so that the crow isn't able to get the save. And really quick game. So that one was really good. I would play again and play with these guys because I think they do seem to be fans. But we do have to continue playing with random. So let's hop into the next game and let's see if we can keep winning. Okay, so here we go into the next game. We're facing Carl, Gene, and Frank. So again, we're going to target the Frank. Uh, we do have a Daryl, actually. So I think we can let him target the Frank. We can just go over here. So we already got pretty good value because we hit two people at once. So pretty good start for us. We can do that again over here. So we already have our super. Only took 10 seconds. Looks like this Daryl has the ball, and he's going to go up and make a play. Not going to be able to score, but I'm going to be able to hit a pull over there. I'm going to be able to kill that Frank before he gets his super off. And I believe Carl just wasted his super as we're going to get our first goal. And it's going to be one to nothing for us. Again, a little bit over 20 seconds into the game. So we got our speed over here from our max. Daryl's going to bring up the ball and try and go for a play. He's going to do a little bit. We're going to be able to hit a really clean pull over there. Almost have our super back, which obviously is really good. Only one card off. Our max is going to go down. We're going to take a shot, hit that Frank and move back over here. So again, we're trying to be as sneaky as possible. So we're going to try and hit this double pull. Going to be able to hit it. Almost got two of them. We only ended up getting one kill. Not able to hit him either. So he's going to fully regen. This is the type of sneaky I was talking about. So you can just stay in grass like I am right now. Um, I could really easily just kill this guy over here. Going to go for the double. Not able to get it. So that's a really bad value super over there. I was trying to go for the double, but I missed. Definitely do something if you're more certain. But anyways, it's going to be a quick goal. And again, that's going to be another dub with random. So let's do one more game. We'll see if we can go 3-0 with random. So let's hop into it. And let's see if we can go undefeated this video. Okay, so here we go into the next game. So again, another good comp for us. M's and double tanks. So we're obviously going to be focusing on the tanks. We're playing with a Max and a Poco. Poco will not be very good against this comp. But I guess it can help with a little bit with control. So again, we're just going to start pinching. We are going to go down. Oh, we didn't. The M's let up on us. We are close to our super. Thank you for the heal, Poco. Sorry for my dog. Oh, I got out of the way a little bit too much, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to solo pull this M's because she would have gotten really good value on us. And you guys see I'm close to my super again, so it doesn't really matter. Probably going to be able to get it right now. There we go. Their Primo's going to go down. Their Daryl has the ball, so he's probably going to try and make a play, but our Max played that pretty well. I'm just going to solo pull this M's. Again, I'm going to be close to my super, so it doesn't really matter. Our Max is going to use his speed and try and move up. Maybe he's going to be able to get a goal. Oh, he's going to miss the net. One card away from super here. Uh, we're able to get it. Daryl moving down the left side. I can go for a solo pull on the Daryl over here. Get some good value off of it. Again, very close to my super. Able to get the kill. One shot for my super. There we go. See, the solo pulls aren't really that bad at all because you're ending, you're going to end up getting the kills and getting your super right back. Primo's moving up this lane. Again, another solo pull. Good value. I didn't get almost all my super back, but I got a fair amount. Able to get my super. I'm just going to be taken down. Now we have the ball. So I'm just going to throw the ball off the wall here. Pull the Primo so we can't stop the goal. Oh, and I'm going to miss the net, which is a little bit awkward, but our Poco is going to put it in anyways. So it's one to nothing for us a minute and a half into the game. So pretty good so far. So it looks like they have multiple supers. We're just going to get that solo pull over there. Push the ball up. 
pass it over to the max he's gonna have an open net and he's gonna put it in and that is going to be it for the game so three games with randoms three dubs uh we got star player for all of them which was really cool definitely some really good games and i hope you guys saw how to properly play tara and how you got and i hope you guys learned how to effectively and properly play tara so anyways that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna be making a brawler guide soon unfortunately though it does take a little bit of time so i can't just have a new one out every day but we'll have one out soon. I hope you guys enjoy it. So that's going to be it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys leave a sub or drop a sub, leave a like, and comment what you guys want to see. And if you guys like the video. So anyways, that's going to be it. I will catch you guys tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.